So you're like me, you're waiting, you're downloading your Baldur's Gate on your Steam Deck and you are a little concerned about the performance of that game or you want to play Star Citizen, one of the most watched videos I have on this channel, on your Steam Deck, maybe Destiny 2, and you're just, you, it's just aggravating needing to create a separate Windows install, trying to figure out a different way to, to, get, to get around the issue, whether you're trying to just get around the DRM or anti-cheat or whatever it is that is your proposed solution to that problem. But I'm going to guess most of you out there actually have a PC. And if you have a PC, there's a much better way to do this, even after NVIDIA made Moonlight a little bit more difficult. Let's get into it. So first things first, if you haven't watched my last video, please do. This will walk you through how to set up Steam Link for your computer. But right now, we're just going to come into Steam Link. Go ahead and load into our Steam Deck. This is gonna allow us to allow me to record everything a little bit better. And that's really honestly the only purpose of this. It will make it a little bit easier to set up, but the first thing you do need to do is go to your desktop mode and download Moonlight. I have a different video on that as well. But you also need to go and download Sunshine onto your other computer. Um, I recommend just Googling that. Um, I can put links to that down below in the description, especially if people are feeling like they need more explanation but it's really fairly self-explanatory. The only things I will say that are important is you do need to go to the web page that says that it's not secure since it's just a local host. Don't sweat that. It's just a local hosted IP ser uh, server that is like a, a, a faked out server um, that's being spoofed by the program. That's gonna allow you to connect both your computers through that link and be able to use the program. So the important thing with that is that you need to be able to put in a pin through that website from your device. So I just connected my Steam Deck using this earlier and uh, this is being your non-Steam game. So you can access this from the, Steam, uh, from the Steam gaming page as well. And you're gonna see I have both my computers. If you've watched my channel for a while, Glacial Dream is the first one that I made a video about. And then the TV PC is my small form factor PC that goes behind my TV. We're just gonna go up here, log on to the desktop. That's gonna bring us right into the downstairs computer. I'm currently on the other one right now, so that one won't work super well. Now, I would normally need to tweak my graphics here. This is trying to push a 4K resolution onto an 800p display, so not great um, in terms of like legibility, but it's fine enough for basic tasks. Um, you can tweak these settings through the Moonlight app. Um, and you can also tweak them from like uh, advanced host and advanced uh, client options as well. Uh, Steam Link can also do this for you, by the way. So if you just download Steam Link onto your, uh, onto your Steam Deck and then you access it, you access your PC that way through Steam Link, that can work out really well for you too. Um, you can also add it as a non-Steam game and and connect to do game streaming as well. That can also work for you. So you just have to add this, the Star Citizen app, as a non-Steam game to your Steam app. For me, Moonlight and just accessing it through Moonlight seems to work the very best. Um, just know that all of those other things are options. Moonlight just makes it easier when inevitably something goes wrong with Star Citizen and I have to tweak it in the Windows settings makes it easier for me to activate that. I can customize more controls. I can change the bandwidth and latency. Um, so I have a lot more flexibility here. And you're gonna see me, this is, and please keep in mind that I'm showing you all of this on my Steam Deck right now. But the other thing that you might be forgetting is that I am routing my TV computer through my Steam Deck, which is being routed over to my main computer. And then <laughs> I'm showcasing all of this. So you're seeing, Frame rates in the top left, um, all over the place. Grand, this is a loading screen, but you're gonna get a little bit of variability here in in frame rates. It's not gonna be super clean because I'm bouncing this between three different locations. Um, and that's, that's creating some fun times. I also noticed some screen tearing that often happens. I did disable VSync and that's helped a little bit. So we're just gonna go ahead, press F12, but you can see pretty smooth here. We're picking a pretty even 60 frames. Although I'm being sucked into a vortex right now. This was a issue I was having on this computer before. Just as it loads. 
options. Probably loading shaders. Uh, all right, well, I'm having some input issues real quick. It could be that I left the keyboard on downstairs. Come on, you can do it. You can make it out the door. Nah, oh, come on. Anyway, the frames are seeming looking good. I got, come on, come on. Come on. All right, let's try it over here on the Steam Deck just to showcase how this will work over here. All right, yeah, I think it's the, the Steam Deck inputs that are causing issues. And I can't remember exactly how I've keyed this. I'll do a separate thing on. Now um, that's jump. It might be right click. Ah, there you go. It is right. It is the R button. So I gotta like extend this way in front of my face so I can get grabbed by the camera. But you're seeing beautiful, beautiful clarity here. It looks excellent on the Steam Deck. So being kind of passing this through to two different devices is not the best get it just right but there you go excellent quality super easy to use extremely easy to get into again because it's being like 800 uh yeah i think it's all whacked out right now because it doesn't the gamepad plus the mouse keyboard is does not work really great with star citizen specifically so just know that that's an issue but if you're not playing star citizen you have lots of other options games you can play i can just pull up Baldur's gate i can pull up destiny and i can play them right here easy peasy lemon squeezy they're gonna look excellent and i'll just pull up destiny just to showcase this last one Do, 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 do. All right, uh, download. I haven't played for a hot little minute, so it might make us watch a. I guess watch a little video. Destiny is one of those games where I definitely play that in bursts and spurts. I can do it. You can do it. You say you're running, but I don't see you. All right, and just like that, we're into Destiny. Now, you'll notice the text in the bottom right is illegible on this computer, but keep in mind, it's legible on the Steam Deck. It's, again, it's taking a 4K display down to 800p and then back up to 4K upscaling onto this computer. So it's looking really bad on this main screen. But if we come over... To our desk shot here. I should have fixed some of the GPA rendering issues as well. GPU rendering issues. So long as it will focus on my hands. There we go. One. Focus, focus, focus. I'm just gonna stand up. It's gonna be easier. It'll allow me to force focus here. There you go. And you can see it looks beautiful. Guardians from Maui. Oh. So devastating. But here you can see really easy, incredible text clarity, no lag. You will you may need to change some of your settings in Moonlight and get a camera that doesn't keep changing its autofocus. There you go. Yeah, like I said, it's making me watch videos. But anyway, I hope this was instructive for all of you. If you found this useful, please let me know. Um, if you thought that this was stupid and a waste of time, feel free to let me know that as well. Uh, but until next time, good luck out there. Have some fun. Keep on gaming. Bye for now. All attempts to funnel it.